Alright, so uh, this Easton card sh should be the next unit to come out on Global. Now, actually, wait, what's her? Why is it four? It's a haircut. We have five haircuts. I do. Okay, I don't need that. She should be the next character coming for Global. Her and Mono, which, by the way, I don't have Mono uh, leveled up. Oh, I mean, I do have her 80, but I don't have her Super Awakened. If you want to see Mono Super Awakened Showcase, get this video to... 2000 likes and I'll do it because I, it's definitely a waste of resources but if you want to see it let me know this is mono by the way um so if you want to see a showcase for her let me know she also she also has other costumes she has this one which I would say is pretty nice this is the one I, I, I use she also has this one um some nice haircuts as well this one anyways if you want to see her weapons are pretty cool if you want to see a showcase for her yeah um, that's that's the way I know if you do. I'll super awaken her and test her out uh, currently. I mean with the new King released she has poison and her whole thing is with poison so I guess she could be good. Anyways, um, I'm gonna try her with the current melee team but I'm actually gonna try her with a few teams. Uh, but what's her passive and what does she do? So she's a buffer. Um, she it has the same buff card as Green Helbrum. And she also has the same AoE card as Red Fat King. Not a good example, because I'm on Global. Um, but she has an AoE card that gets Ultimate Gauge. Uh, the effect right here is Ultimate Gauge, as you can see. Her ultimate is very good. 525% uh, and it doubles chance to crit. Or is it double crit damage? I think it's double crit damage. Yes. Yes. Right? Yeah. And then her passive is that for each buff on allies... Is it allies or and enemies or is it just allies? Let me take a quick look. For each buff on allies and enemies, um, increases her basic stats by 5%, max of 5 times. So, it's actually pretty good. Being a buffer herself, she can actually, you know, do 3. So, um, yeah, let's take her. Actually, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try a few teams, actually. I'm gonna try a few teams. This will be my first one, just because. Um, but, I can see her working super well with Lost Vein. If you get Lost Vein, you know, a few cards and then um, buff and do, so... Let me, um, this is my first match over here we're facing. I only brought this team because he was already there. <laughs> and I was like, you know what, just, just put it to Easton as a third. Because, um, what I like about this new king is that so long as you have King and Hendrickson, the other unit could be anyone. I mean, of course, some units are better. If you have, like, Elizabeth, that's the best setup possible, right? But still. Alright. So let's start with... Ooh. That's good. Let's start with the usual. Do this. Start with the usual. She has type advantage over Lost Bane, which is good. That means I won't get obliterated by his AoE. Oh, he got some level 3s. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. Buff. And attack. Right? I should do that. Uh, I have a Void, so this will not do any damage. Oh, that's great. That's amazing, actually. Because Hendrickson would probably die if I didn't have a Void. I use a Void because now if the matter, if you're facing this team, it's the best thing you can have. <sighs> you know what? I'm gonna do... This. I'm going for her ultimate. I'm going for her ultimate. This will crit Mally, which is really unfortunate, yeah. <clears throat> That's really unfortunate, but it's okay. It's okay. I don't think she can die. She can get stunned. Which is not good. Oh, but he went for the kill. Alright. That's fine. One issue is that um, he has revive. So the best thing I can do... Nah, nah, it's fine. It's fine. Because what I'm going to do is this. This should kill Gopher. And then I ult, and this should kill Melios. Because she's a buffer, she, like, my units have, like, really good chance uh, to crit, which didn't happen, but she has a really good chance to crit. And if the uh, double crit damage, you know, that should be really good. Oh, yeah. Again, her ult is really good, if you crit. If you don't crit, kind of a yikes, but <laughs> if you do crit, it's really good. Uh, my buff will sure run out, but it's fine. Buffing, um, you know, attack with the stats is really good. <clears throat> because it, ch it boosts the chance to crit and everything. Boosts uh, Pierce, which is really good in using the Pierce team. So, I'm gonna actually 
you know, I'm gonna do a a big uh, roundup. I'm gonna I'm gonna next next um, match use the Pierce team with her because you can boost Pierce with her attacks uh, as well. And I think I'm gonna go for Lost Main. Lost Main too. Yeah, that's it. Um, I guess we'll see. <laughs> Let's see uh, a buff top king ultimate. Not that it matters because he's gonna kill anyways, right? Like no matter what I do, he's gonna kill anyways. Didn't kill now, but she will die to the abyss. That that's you know. But so for a year I actually plan on using this team. I'm using Marvels over here. I have him super awakened. Just because it's full mono blue, so I was like, you know what, let's buff up the uh, the HP. Since he buffs mono blue, uh, you know blue uh, in general. And I do have UR gear for her, so keep that in mind. It's it's HP, it's uh, attack and defense. Uh just because I was scared of lost veins and stuff. And it was for the uh, the green um uh, uh, east it was for the green east it was carried lost vane so i gave her defense let me let me let me find the match all right so facing a lost vein over here match one Ooh, let's let's go for this uh, is he using red king let me take a look he's not so let's go for this boost him up again my, my lost vein has you are gear Kill, kill Lost Vein. I'm sorry, my Demon Mally is what you are here. Are you kidding me? <sighs> so close. If it wasn't for Zeldris buffing Lost Vein's HP stat, he would have died. He would have actually died. Unfortunate. Now Lost Vein's gonna fully heal. Pretty much. And. And he's also gonna get his ultimate. That's very unfortunate. Yeah, very unfortunate. <laughs> Unless, I mean, she is buffed. I might just kill him. I might just kill him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, she got the uh, one ultimate gauge from it. This match was quick. Let me find another one. This was uh, very quick. Okay, um, I... Okay, um, don't know what this is. This is. Um, it's later, but we go with it. We'll, 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 we'll take, we'll take what we can. Apply this. Hmm. This later may or may not have gear. <laughs> he may or may not have gear. The answer is probably the main knot. Welp, let me go for Easton's ultimate since I have the opportunity to. This would be uh, her ultimate, of course, because she gets the one ultimate gauge from attacking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then, if I get stunned, I just attack with Meliodas. That should be the kill on this later. Actually, I'll attack with Meliodas regardless, because. Uh, Oh, I forgot I pulled the cell with her. I completely forgot I pulled the cell with her. All right. Again, her ultimate is quite strong, so I, I have faith in it. Yeah, I did that. Slater got revived. I mean, anything would kill at this point, right? Mm -hmm. 453k. It wasn't even an attack boost. Wild, okay. So, let me put her up with Lost Vein now and see how that will go. Alright, now with Lost Vein. Ooh, I lost the CP battle. That's not good. No, no, no. Hmm. Against his old team. Interesting. Interesting. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um. Hmm. It wouldn't be smart to attack with Lost Vein now. Only reason for it not being smart is because of shield. I want to, uh, of course, also buff first with Easton and then attack. Which is what I'm gonna do. 
The shield cancels any and every uh, crit. Oh boy. Alright. This will buff Easton. Let's attack the uh, her. Attack her because, um, you know, why not? If I attack Lost Vein, he's gonna bring up cards, so. Let me take a quick look at her stats, because with these buffs, she's maxed, of course. I have 9 buffs, and she caps at 5. I might just patch her find me, actually. Well, it's definitely a bot now. <laughs> I had my doubts, but, you know. That was just kind of stupid. That also. Well... I have no other choice but this. Let's see the numbers. Oh, actually, let me check her stats first. Uh, 23k attack, 202,000 HP. Yeah, not, not, not any marmas um, in the back, by the way. This attack and defense, 200,000 HP. Alright. Um, with three cards, how, how much is Lost Vane hitting for? And, of course, a, a buff from her. 15% attack with her stats. 1.1 million! 1.1 million. Damn! He had more CC than I did. <laughs> like, he had more uh, stats. I'll, I'll rank up level 2 and do attack and see how much damage he's gonna do as well, but... He had more stats than me as well. Crazy. 1 mil. There's one more team I want to try, it's with Jero. Because of her passive, Jero can give her buffs, so that's what the next one I'm trying. Alright, this team, that's, um, okay. It's really frustrating when I've been playing for quite a while, and I only face boss. It really is, because I want to put the video out, because I, I have stuff to do. But every single opponent's bots. Like, the thing is that I don't mind because it's not like they're gonna take more damage. The bots in, in, uh, after, like, the patch, they all have the gear. Like, they all have max gear and everything. So it's not like the bots are weaker. They're still taking the same amount of damage. I just would like to face real people. So the thing about playing JP, JP is just, when I play global, it's only real people. It's so good. But JP, this happens. Alright, this is why I wanted to play with Jero, uh, because of the buff thing. So now she's capped at max with this. <sighs> what are the odds I can kill and kill? Oh, but he's not gonna... I forgot about the shield. The shield. Elizabeth's shield is so strong. Elizabeth's shield is so strong. Uh, but that was deck buffed. Hmm, I can go for her ult, and I can also remove... Nah, I can't I can go for... I can't do, do, do both. Is King still sealed? He is, right? No, he's not. Well, he will be. What? Am I... Dumb? <laughs> Did I miss that twice? <laughs> <laughs> Did I, unironically, oh, just miss it twice? God damn it. Did I, I killed him. I hate Elizabeth so much. I actually just despise Elizabeth so goddamn much. Because I, because I killed King, he got, his debuff was removed. Thank God for resistance. From Jero. Because I killed King, his resistance was removed. Uh, his um, debuff was removed. That's so dumb. I hate Elizabeth so goddamn much. No buffs? Sorry. No buff. Okay, what's her ult doing? King's dead now. I hate Elizabeth so much. It's fine though. What you hitting for? Ooh, 400k, no crits. 
No crits though. Could have hit for much more, because you know, with double crit damage, the, the hits that really counter the ones that crit. Not bad though. I mean she's not much of a PvP and she like on guild boss, especially the current one for global, she's very good. Uh, she's probably one of the best units. She's not really a um a PvP unit per se. But of course it doesn't make her bad. It doesn't make her bad on PvP or anything. She's still usable. Uh, she was very popular with uh, the pen team. She was pretty popular with the pen team. Um, although, I would only really recommend her using her own pen if you do have UR gear, because it's only really uh, for for geared. It's not really something that you're gonna have much good use for ungeared. Because the pen team really only reigns supreme on geared, right? Still good in ungeared, but... The real deal is, uh, why did I do that? The real deal is, uh, is geared for them. Alright, the match is done though. Uh, if you want something for her, do I guess, but I would really, from now on, only recommend summoning for, um, festival exclusive banners. Those are the ones that you really want to summon on, if you're free to play. If you're free to play, you can do whatever you want. But if you're free to play, like, the festival exclusive banners are the ones that really matter, you know? Those are the ones that really, really have value. Her banner can be va can have value. If you don't have Lilia, it's a good pull. But in general, fast books lose your banners are just better. Alright, that's it. Thank you guys for watching.